Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, our mom didn't have custody when we were growing up because um, she had schizophrenia. And uh, that doesn't normally hardly ever passes down on the uh, male side, on the sons. It's generally, uh, what is it, a, a recessive gene, not a dominant gene, so it passes down on the female side. You know? And so, um, uh, so our sisters are suspect. And uh, even though I hadn't talked, in, I haven't spoken to Carrie in 20 years, right? And I had no interest in speaking to her either. Um, after I found out that uh, we were left out of the obituary, I looked up uh, our grandparents, our mother's parents' old house, and then it's in the possession of our father. And it's that's just like one of the worst things I've ever heard, like one of the shadiest deals in history. Like he had nothing to do with them, you know? Like when mom moved down the street for one year, he would just drive by, flick her off. He Every time she called, like, your mother's on the phone. Your mother's on the phone. He refused to speak to her for years and years. And then at her funeral, I was surprised as fuck to see him. I'm like, what is he doing here? Like, he was mean to her his whole life, you know? And then uh, he's just so jolly and, like, at the funeral, like, hey, hey, uh, hi. Like, and I'm just like, it just, it, right when I saw that, I saw him walk up, like, with, I've never seen him smile or that happy before. And he walks up, he's all, like, happy. I'm like, this made me sick in my stomach. And I was like in tears, like so, it, it, it took a, such a pounding out of me, you know, I was really close to my mom. And so like, when, when, uh, uh, that's something that was always in my head, like, dang, what a sick fucker, you know? Like, he's like, oh, I outlived her. That's basically what he was doing. And uh, then, so I find out this about uh, how he has somehow has possession of our mother's parents' house and some shady deal, with obviously our sister Carrie. And so I'm like, dude, that's so wrong. We're left out the obituary. We're not even mentioned like we don't exist. And so I just contact the county clerk in, in Kerrville. I'm like, hey, um, you know, Ruth Takehash passed away. And I'm one of uh, me and my brother are her only two grandsons. We weren't notified, mentioned in the, um, uh, in the, in the obituary. And then I look up and I'm like, oh, and it says there's a will. You know, when me and Michael were growing up, we'd go visit our grandfather and he'd take us around their property in a big tractor. And he'd always say, one day you your boys, I'm going to give you boys all this stuff here, all your stuff, you know. And me and Michael would be like, wow, he has so much stuff, you know. But then uh, we lost contact with them because at one point uh, they were missing a pair of, pair of diamond earrings. And Carrie is the biggest thief in the whole world I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, my favorite movie used to be Forrest Gump. When I started selling newspapers and making money, I bought a VH cop a VHS copy of Forrest Gump. I would watch it every night. And then on it, and then... Then my sister stole it. It was expected she'd steal everything from me, Michael. So I was like, okay, I'll go get another one. She won't steal another one. So I get another one and I write, do not steal this. A couple years later, when she's at an apartment, you know, and, and I'm over there, I see two copies of Forrest Gump on her video collection. One without the thing and one without, like she stole them both. That's like her mentality. I can go on and off a few more things. But anyways, as far as this is concerned, like I was, I, I contacted the county clerk. I'm like, hey, um, uh, I see there's a will and it was probated. That means that like somebody argued the will like, oh, they didn't know what they were doing. Oh, just give us all the money, you know? And that's exactly what happened. Like why probate the will? Both of their wills were probated, our grandfather and our grandmother. And why is that, huh? Because their only heirs were the four grandchildren. Both of their other children just passed on. It's just Carrie, Lori, and me and my brother, Michael. But why is the will probated then, huh? Why weren't we contacted or notified at all about our names in the will? You know, it's kind of like, what, dude? And it's just principle. Like, that house shouldn't belong to him. It should rather go to any other person on this earth. You know, our mom didn't like our father. It was like, why was he so mean, you know? And then, the, and then like, you know, our sister's, like, tries to rewrite history. She tries to say, I, I read some emails that she sent my brother Michael, and he, she's like, Daddy, she still calls him daddy, even though she's like 45. Daddy was so sad at the funeral. I never told you this, but he was crying a lot. He was crying more than I never. That's the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. The dude wouldn't cry at all. He was a fucking sociopath who killed animals. I mean, fuck. He named his daughters after two ex-girlfriends he had. He treated them like girlfriends. He talked to me and Michael like a prison guard. But he was all sweetie and goofy with them. Like, what the fuck you know and like the facts of the matter like all i did was contact the clerk and like ask about that and then i started suspecting like oh uh, like 
yeah, you know, like schizophrenia is passed down on the uh, uh, recessive side. And so I was like, you know, what's, um, you know, I, I just contacted the, the attorney that was in charge of the case. I'm like, why did this, uh, the will go into probate? I'm the grand, uh, one of her two grandsons and just asking for normal information. And immediately I contact the lawyer. I get an email from my sister, Carrie. I don't know how she got my email address. I guess she got it from the lawyer. I didn't tell her to give it to her. But the first thing my sister Carrie says after I haven't spoken to her or tried to contact her in 20 years is, we're putting a restraining order on you. How dare you ask questions about your grandparents' death? You weren't even close to them. They were my grandparents, not yours. You know, I'm like, what, dude? I'm like, and I went back like right away because I was just like, what? I haven't spoken to this person in years. The first thing she says is, I'm getting a restraining order on you. That shows mental illness right there. If you're looking for mental illness, you look for logic. I have nothing to do with this person. I haven't spoken to her in 20 years. I want nothing to do with her ever. And then the first she contacts me, the first thing you, the first thing she says, you, you don't know, what are you doing asking questions? Like she 